welcome back here to CT Style. We are live in the Bender Kitchen with personal chef Dini Klein, and she is making a little chicken pot pie. Look at that. Everybody loves chicken pot pie. What is it about chicken pot pie? I like, feel like it brings a huge smile to everyone's face. I don't know. <laughs> it, it just makes everybody happy. And speaking of that, yesterday, every day after the show, we tape a promo for the next day's show. And generally on CT Style, we're saying, hey, coming up tomorrow, Ben Stiller is on the show. Or okay. coming up tomorrow, we're pogo sticking. I don't know. But <gasps> yesterday, we were doing it. And we never said Dini Klein is in the kitchen. This is what we said. Take a look. Tomorrow at 9 on CT Style. Hey, we're cooking up some chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're Tomorrow at 9 pie. on Here's CT take two. Style. Take two. Well, we are cooking up some chicken pot pie. Let's <laughs> 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 couldn't quite keep it together. Sorry. Tomorrow at 9 and take on three. CT what? Style. Well, we're cooking up some chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We we all love chicken pot that's pie. That's awesome. But Dini, I think your chicken pot pie is gonna blow everybody out of the water. Oh, so, so thank let's get you, started. thank you. Let's yes, I feel like it just makes everyone so happy because so many people just grew up with it. I feel like mom always made chicken pot pie, and I remember as a kid, my mom used to make it. I didn't always love that it was so creamy, so that's why this one isn't as rich and intense. Yeah. You can really eat a nice amount of it because otherwise you have yeah. like one bite and you're sick of it. Sometimes it's too soupy. So, exactly, so exactly. Nice alternative. And as we said, all of your recipes are really easy to make and great for the kids at home to, Thank to you. make with you. So, yeah, so yeah. What, what are the first steps? So basically, we have some onion sauteing in here. Mm -hmm. um, I have some garlic. Garlic you want to put in a little bit later because garlic tends to burn. Um, and then we're sauteing that together with some cubed chicken. Mm -hmm. I use white meat. You could use dark meat if you prefer. And some sweet potato. So you're getting that nice, Yummy. healthy sweet potato in there for the kids. That's great. And I came up with this recipe on Pie Day. You know Pie Day? Yeah, 3.14. Exactly. Whatever. And I saw all these little pies on my Instagram feed. And I was like, I need to make a pie tonight. I was craving pie. So I went in my freezer. I had a little bit of pie dough. And these were the vegetables and the things that I had in my kitchen. So, you so made chicken pot pie instead of normal so I made chicken pot pie. Okay. I went the savory route. I like so it. So I needed like dinner it. anyways. And I wanted a simple, easy dish that I could make. With one hand holding my baby and with my toddler running around like crazy. So, I'm telling you, multitasking mama, that's what it's all about. <laughs> so, now that we have all of this prepared. So, yes, once it's all sauteing and basically steps. cooked through, we are going to season it up. We have some garlic powder. Do you want to do the oregano? A lot of garlic in here, Dean. I like it. I know. Kids and like it's healthy. it. Though. I mean, it's healthy. Yeah, it's not too much because you're cooking it. So, if it was raw, then, then I wouldn't add as much. much. But okay. since you're cooking it, it cooks out that intense flavor. You just drop some salt in there. Drop some salt in there, exactly, to season it up. You could do some pepper. If you want, but for the kids, I sometimes keep it out, depending. And then we're gonna deglaze our pan with some sherry wine, oh, nice. which gives really good flavor, and some vegetable stock or chicken stock. You could use either one. Okay. Turn up your heat. There Turn you it up. go. Turn it up. Exactly. And then you just want to sprinkle in some flour, and this is what really helps to thicken it. Hmm. Just a little bit of flour. That's it. So All it is is two tablespoons. So it's really a very healthy dish because huh. a little bit of flour in here, but otherwise you're just getting the chicken, you're getting sweet potato, and we're going to add in the peas. Can't forget about the peas. Exactly. So it adds a little bit of color too, which is always nice. Exactly. And peas so are already basically cooked, so you don't have to cook them too much. That's why we throw them in at the end. Okay. Beautiful. And look at those colors. How I love cunning. it. I love it. And kids love peas. I'm telling you, kids, kids love, peas. love them. Yep. And then how about Mixing finally? Mix them that together. We have the crust. So, we, the crust, we can't exactly. The crust. So important. you're basically going to just cook this until most of the water, uh, most of the liquid is absorbed, and mm -hmm. then you pour it right into your pot. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a pot pie. Right. And if you wanted to do these in little individual ramekins for kids, that would be really fun. To keep them smaller. To keep them smaller, smaller they get their own little portion. It's really exciting for kids. Kids love getting their own things. But this one is for the entire CT style but this is crew. For, exactly. So we're just going we're big. Hungry. Exactly. And it's just easy. You throw it all in one big thing, and that's it. Now, for the fun part, we take our pie dough, and you can use puff pastry if you want it as well. So you just rolled it out there. Nice rolled it simple. out in between two sheets of parchment paper. Take this, yeah, throw oh, it over. Drop it on top. Exactly. Okay. Look at that. Easy breezy. Okay. Ready, prepared, or ready. And then you just seal the edges a little bit. Yeah. Want to throw that in the oven for me? Okay. Thank you, on, Ryan. On the baking sheet. Exactly. Leave it okay. on the baking sheet. Oh. Hang on one sec. We've got to brush it with some one more step. egg. I'm sorry. I know. So many steps. But this really comes together so quickly. So quickly. Brush it with the egg. So then it gets nice and golden. Okay. So you now we're good. Now we're good. Let's throw okay. it in the oven. Let's and I'll it. show you what we have ready. Da -da -da. Oh, boy. Let's take that out first. You oh, get it? yeah. So that goes in a 400 degree oven for Ooh. about 30 minutes or so until it's golden brown like this. 
And Ryan, look at this special one I made for you. Oh, how, oh, it says CD style. It says CD style on I it. I don't even want to touch it. I don't even want to eat it. It's so nice. I know. Well, we could try to lift but it up. I'll show we, you. We will. We'll still CT dig style. In. Check that. Dig out. on in. Come you, on. You this are is for so CT style. Here and that's what's fun. This is the kids' part about it is that you could really take any leftover dough, make fun little designs. You can make flowers, whatever. Dig on in. Mm. That is so good. All right. Genius. Not too heavy. Pretty healthy. So Thank you so much for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me, Ryan. Your website, people got to check you out. Yeah, DeanieDelivers.com, and I'm also on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, um, Deanie Delivers, so check it out. Deanie, thank you again. Uh, I think we're going to make another pot pie with Teresa's face on it. Teresa, yeah. You, oh, wow. You cool with that? Hey, don't double dip into that. I think we all I'll get want working. some. I'll start. All right. <laughs>